This week's video is all about a really common question that a lot of people have when they're considering a Doberman for their next dog. How much do they shed? We'll answer that question, but also for you seasoned Doberman owners or those who have a Doberman at home, stick around because you're gonna wanna see this video has some really cool tips and tricks for drastically reducing your Doberman's shedding around the house. And one dash of magic and two dashes of magic for his coat. We'll also go over a couple of really cool ways for cleaning Doberman hair specifically off your floors and out of your fabrics. And you Doberman owners, I know you know what I'm talking about when I say out of the fabrics. Come on. Man, that's really in there. Well, the shedding area is certainly one area where the Dobermans definitely excel because it's really quite minimal. Uh, there was a poll recently, you guys know I love polls, of uh, Doberman owners that asked what levels of shedding they experience from their dog. And uh, Doberman owners responded with 57% saying uh, that they consider the Doberman to be low shedding, 34% said moderate shedding, and 9% reported no shedding, which is really quite surprising to me. I mean, every dog with a coat should shed, so I don't know if they have some sort of super Dobermans, but 9% said no shedding. Uh, and no one reported heavy shedding, which isn't surprising. They shed very minimally. Think of their levels of shedding as something kind of similar to a Dalmatian, for example. So what are the Doberman's hairs like? Well, they're short, thick, and pointy hairs, and think of them as like eyelashes. Um, you know, they don't really jump out onto your clothes with static uh, and, and cause that kind of issue uh, like some other breeds will. But because they're pointy, they will work their way into fabric, just like if you're rubbing up on your dog, for example. Um, they'll also stick into like curtains or other fabrics around the house, like uh, maybe a couch, uh, for example. But I've even heard of people saying that sometimes these hairs, because they're so thick and pointy, they can like poke people in the feet. I've heard some Doberman owners complain about that and even like stick in their feet, almost like a small splinter um, and cause some irritation on their feet. I've never heard of that myself. Like I've never experienced that myself and I've never had my kids have any issues with that. I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old who run around barefoot all the time. I'm, I'm barefoot often in my house, never had any issues. I don't know if these people have really sensitive skin or maybe they have a dog with very thick fur. Uh, I don't know what the issue is, but some people have reported that. Now skin irritation can be an issue because of those pointy hairs in general. Sometimes people get it on their arms uh, if they have sensitive skin. But as far as sinus allergic reactions go, um, really the pet dander from a Doberman is, is very minimal and there's very few people who report uh, sinus irritations and allergies from a Doberman. So let's talk real quick to you who already have a Doberman about how you can reduce the shedding. We already know the Dobermans have very minimal shedding issues uh, anyway, but you can definitely do a few things to even reduce it quite a bit further. Now the first one's a little bit obvious, but we gotta discuss it. It's just brushing regularly. Once a week is probably about right. You could do it more or less, kinda just whenever you think about it is fine. It's not super critical, but the more you do it, the less problems you'll have around the house uh, with shedding. And when you brush your dog, it has the added benefit of redistributing their oils, their natural oils throughout their coat. It gives them a real nice, uh, cut sheen to them and it just helps improve the overall circulation in the skin uh, the more you do it and if you want to know um, what kind of brush I use uh, let, here let's jump outside real quick I'll show you what I use on Arlo so guys I've tried a lot of different contraptions and brushes and different things to brush my dog's coat um, yeah I know and uh, he hasn't liked many of them uh, but he uh, you know, the one that I found that does work the best is actually borderline the cheapest one that I've gotten, which are these little gloves here from Amazon. Um, don't spend a lot of money. I have, I have spent a lot of money on um, different things to brush my dog down. And uh, these are by far the best and they're borderline the cheapest thing I've tried, which is pretty amazing. Um, there are other gloves out there, but a lot of them have uh, real sharp points on the rubber pieces and you don't want to go too sharp because uh, if you go too sharp, it digs into the dog's skin a little bit too much. And Dobermans are known for having very sensitive skin. Um, this uh, rubber here is really soft. Uh, the nubs on it are very flexible. They're not pointed. And uh, the rubber's soft enough too that it'll grab a lot of the oils and distribute it evenly over their coat. And more than that, it's just super simple and quick with a glove form. You just open them up, throw your hand in, and once a week, or pretty much whenever I think about it, I usually shoot for once a week or so. Um, I'll just throw these on, give my dog a rub down, and he absolutely loves it. So really you don't have to push hard at all, just real gentle. Like I said, Dormans have sensitive skin, they're kind of known for that. So 
I like to just go real gentle across the body. You can push a little bit harder around the neck because they do have a double layer coat around the neck area. Andy likes that a lot because that's where the collar is. I did take his collar off before doing this so I can uh, go in one smooth motion. Yeah, buddy. And just go with the layer of the fur or with how the fur lays on the body. Just go in the same direction. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I know. And what's great about the gloves is you can feel the body's kind of uh, natural hills and valleys real well. So you know when you're uh, putting too much pressure in one spot, you can keep the pressure really even, which is another thing I love about gloves over a brush. And that's it. Super fast, super easy. When you're all done the fur in these gloves, it doesn't really stick very, very hard at all uh, because of the way the fur is. So I just kind of do this and gets most of it off. Now, besides using something like those gloves I showed you or, or another brush to brush down your dog, um, another thing you can do is give them regular wipe downs with either a wet cloth or a baby wipe. Uh, Doberman owners do this a lot. Not only does it help kind of have a similar effect as far as removing the dead hair and redistributing the oils throughout the coat, but um, it'll also help your dog go longer in between baths. So if you kind of have a habit, like some of us do on occasion of maybe going a little too long in between baths, um, and why don't you just take a quick second, wipe them down with either a baby wipe or a wet cloth, um, and that'll really help extend uh, the amount of time between baths without uh, ending up, you know, with a stinky dog. Now there are other kind of like go-to tricks that Doberman owners use to help improve the shedding and the skin of their Doberman. And one of them is using oatmeal-based shampoos. Now some Doberman owners who have a dog with real severe hair loss uh, and even color dilution alopecia, which is a condition that causes hair loss and dry flaky skin. Uh, we'll use oatmeal based shampoos to really improve both the skin and the coat of the dog uh, with some pretty good results. Another one is uh, to simply make sure your dog gets plenty of exercise. You know, when they're in shape and they really got the circulation going in their body, that extra circulation helps the skin and help in turn will help the fur of the dog also. Uh, other Doberman owners will often put a teaspoon or so of olive oil in with their dog's meals, uh, and that provides an extra boost of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which is supposed to really help keep the skin soft and supple and also improve the overall coat of the dog. But of course, before you go adding anything to your dog's meal, make sure you talk to your vet first. Now let's talk for a quick second about dealing with the shedding that does happen in the house. Uh, we know Dormans are really easy as far as shedding goes, but to clean them up, let's say hardwood floors or tile, for example, to clean up the loose hairs on there, it's really easy with Doberman fur. Honestly, because they're like thick little eyelashes, they sweep up super easy. They don't stick to the ground or anything. Um, they're easy to sweep up. Even a vacuum right over top of it will suck it up, no problem. Uh, now on carpet, if you have any kind of like speckle pattern whatsoever on your carpet, you're just not gonna see the shedding unless it's like really bad or you've really neglected vacuuming for a while. And a normal vacuum will have no problem sucking it out of carpet, especially with the bristles that go by, it'll knock it right out of the carpet and it'll suck it right up. So that'll be easy too. Um, on a fabric furniture, like maybe a fabric couch, for example, it will be a little tougher because those furs are so pointing thick, they do work in there and they're a little hard to get out. I like to use a bristle type attachment for my vacuum. And when I'm going over, I just go multiple different directions and those bristles really help knock the fur out and the sucking action sucks it right off. And you know, if you have like a leather couch, for example, then well, I guess you don't need to worry about this issue, Mr. Fancy Pants. And guys, if you see any type of unusual shedding of any kind, such as patchy hair loss or real bad thinning of the hair, where you can start to see the skin coming through, definitely go see a vet just to make sure, especially if there's any other associated symptoms such as red bumpy skin or dry flaky skin or fever, for example, any other associated symptoms along with the hair loss, definitely go see a vet then as well. Um, but a lot of you colored, uh, diluted colored Doberman owners know that you really gotta watch out with this breed um, because they are prone to some skin and fur issues such as color dilution alopecia and a few others. And guys, don't discount some of the, uh, the small tips I gave you in this video. There's a lot of owners, for example, of blue and uh, fawn Dobermans, the diluted colors that love those oatmeal shampoos and that olive oil addition into the dog food. They swear by it. Again, talk to your vet about some of those. Um, but some of those small things can really make a big difference. And feel free to check out my recommended hygiene products page, guys. That'll be really useful for you because not only does it list out all the hygiene products I find that works the best 
for Doberman specifically, but it also has some really useful additional information, uh, such as a hygiene schedule, like how often to bathe your dog, uh, how to brush them, clean the teeth, clean the ears, and even some more tips on, on top of that. So that schedule is really useful as well. Again, it's in my recommended hygiene products page for Dobermans. If you click in the description down below, you'll see best hygiene products. You can click right there and it'll take you right to it. Or if you prefer, just type in DobermanPlanet.com into your search bar, click on the uh, menu option that says recommended products and you'll find the best hygiene products in there. Uh, and of course the gloves that I used uh, for Arlo and that I continue to use will be listed in the description down below in case you wanna pick up a pair for yourself. I remember guys don't spend a lot of money. Something simple works really well for them. Um, but uh, it'll also be listed on my recommended products page. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below if you would in the bell icon before you go anywhere just to make sure you're subscribed and you'll get notified on my next video. It really helps us support the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and of course, see you next time.